leo nita kuongelea about my weight loss journey haijakuwa rahisi ku lose weight because ya changamoto tu nyingi kama ta my lifestyle sikuwa na na feel niko ready kuacha whatever i was doing for the journey of weight loss nilikuwa nimefanya my own research kwa niki google na angalia venye mtu anaweza lose weight so Hapa ndo nataka kufanya tizi because I want to cut weight and burn calories. Nilikuwa najua what it entails mtu ku lose weight but ilikuwa tu ngumu. Sometimes una come across articles na una feel like hey hiyo kwangu siezani nayo especially on the exercise side of it. Hiyo nilikuwa na feel ugumu kabisa because at that time nilikuwa na weight 83 kg so I was heavy. So unapata those type of exercises nilikuwa najaribu but zilikuwa zinanishinda hata sikumbuki majina zao but najua tu kuzifanya. So nilikuwa najaribu hizo exercises na feel like my body ilikuwa heavy sana kujilift kufanya zingine ilikuwa ngumu. So nikaangalia what else can I do to lose weight but not through exercise but one thing I learned from exercises niliona about rope skipping na nika try at that time niki try ku skip ilikuwa pia strenuous but nika nilikuwa kwa group flani Facebook na walikuwa wameandika you can start with a few skips until body yako ya just ama until you start losing weight uki feel uko light hizo skips zitapanda per day so initially when i started nili start na 20 skips in the morning 20 skips in the evening na nikafuatilisha tu na consistency nikakuwa consistent in in that exercise so kila morning i'd wake up at 6 na skip like 20 in the evening 20 So kidogo kidogo within a month nikaona like nikaanza ku feel light so sikuwa nimeenda kupima ni nione ati na way ngapi from the initial 83 with which I started with so nika feel too body na feel lighter na nika increase 
before nijue nilikuwa like watu hiyo wanani count hata nikiskip nilikuwa na make up to 20 skips in the mo- i mean 200 skips in the morning 200 skips in the evening so ili come to natural na nikona like mango zilikuwa zinitoshi nikivaa edo unapata zingine ziko too big zingine zina fit so nikajua yenyewe nimeanza ku lose weight personally sikuwa na jona nika nime lose weight nilikuwa na feel like too niko sawa don't feel light but nilikuwa na feel niko too sawa but when other people out there wakaanza kuniuliza hey tunaona umepunguza what are you doing ni ukiambia mtu you are skipping and aku wana dispute that fact mtu anakuambia like the way you are heavy i expect utakuwa me lose weight through rope skipping na haikuwa hiyo peke yake but that one was the major one because hiyo ndio ilikuwa na naitumia sana nikifanya that time before ni come across some article lenye pia alikuwa anasema kuna dem flani niliona jani yake na alikuwa ameandika ti yeye alikuwa anakunywa maji moto in the morning like literally hot water in the morning alafu pia in the evening alikuwa anakunywa maji moto na akasema mostly hiyo na inasaidia the tummy area kama unataka flat tummy alikuwa amesema alitumia hiyo maji moto na aliona changes so akasema to the only thing ni kukuwa consistent na apart from that pia unakunywa tu na hii maji ingine like 3 liters in a day so nika decide ebu pia ni try about enye eh, ude mameongelelea so nikaanza ku warm maji in the morning na alikuwa anasema unakunywa hiyo maji moto 30 minutes before u, u take breakfast na anasema cut down on sugars so pia mimi nikaanza kufanya hivyo na nikaona ukweli ina work nikakuwa consistent na hiyo maji moto na nilikuwa nangoja 30 minutes or hata longer ndo na take my breakfast na nilikuwa na take breakfast with sugar but sasa si ile kama nilikuwa natumia 3 spoonful nika reduce to 1 ikawa apart from that nikona pia kuna place because nilikuwa tunafanya bado research nikaona pia kuna place yenye wamesema like change the plate you are using ndio i cut down on the food portion you are eating so we now will come explain akisema if you use the same plate unaweza kuwa tempted kujaza food kwa hii plate na you will be leading the same lifestyle now when you want results you have to change the way you are doing things so me na nikasema tu wacha tu ni achane na plate nikwa natumia niende kwa smaller one so your smaller one obviously ukiweka food haitakuwa the same quantity na kama yenye ungetumia uh, bigger plate so nikakata on nikakata upande wa plate nikatumia smaller one nika control food portions then nikasoma like inafaa ukule a lot of greens and fruits kitu kama red meat once in a while tena at least kidogo sio tu nyingi nyingi na mimi nilikuwa mtu napenda nyama so nilikuwa nakula nyama nyingi but niliendelea kula nyama though yani na reduce tu kiwango na kula Then kitu kama ugali nilikuwa sasa slice na chukua ka slice kadogo sana rice the same thing so this time nika change yo mambo ya plate na kunywa maji moto na kunywa maji baridi lakini like 3 liter ama 2 liter sometimes hata 1 liter but nilikuwa consistent na hii routine na nikona ina work alafu upande wa white meat hakukuwa na shida so it was just like Two weeks ago nilienda kuwei again nikapata niko 61 kg na this journey ya weight loss nilianza March 2021 na size it ko December 2021 so unezaona like kama nilianza March na niko December na already nili lose 22 kg I think so it's not impossible na kuna watu wao wa believe nikiwaambia ti hivyo tu ndo mimi nimefanya wana feel like there is more that you did there is nothing that I did other than in my state na apart from hiyo nili natumia pia lemons sometimes kwa maji kama napata natumia lemon sometimes hata kwa chai yangu natumia pia hiyo lemon but sasa mimi sija cut down at your own sugar i'm not taking tea without sugar and i'm taking tea with sugar but kidogo another thing nili reduce pia ni carbs vitu kama chapo mambo ya junk food chips hizo nilizili reduce kwa my diet but still nakula but just that 
kiwango yenye nakulia pia like I can nezaka like two weeks one week before nionje hizo mambo za carbs but still nakula so when you wananijua hapo kitambo wanajua mwili yangu venye ilikuwa mwenye ananiona size pia anaona different person na that is what i was doing but whichever method yenye unatumia on your weight loss journey the only thing hapo ni consistency because if you want to achieve something lazima ukwe consistent ndio uone changes alafu another thing ni is how you do it kama umefanya ukitumia njia fulani na you are seeing no changes it means that you have to change the way you are doing th- those things to get to get an achievement out of it so usikwamilie tu kitu enye high work because mimi hata venye nilianza rope skipping when i saw the changes nikajua I'm on the right path so kwangu si kwa naenda ku on the weighing scale nilikuwa naenda tu kwa the clothes that i had because pia si kwa mtu mkubwa hii ku gain weight ilikuja tu when i had a baby so nilikuwa na mtoi weight kakuja pole 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 alafu by the number of kids pia so unaona tu umepanuka so mimi mwenyewe nikafika time nika feel like i'm not comfortable in my body nataka tu ni reduce nani hii kasi si michezo kumbe hiyo haka utitui na kuanga hivi ngumu na singine simenishinda nimeacha lakini with the time sasa najua nikianza kokoa mwepesi mwepesi sitakuwa rais nitafanya i'll just keep you guys updated just stay on nani committee na when me reduce sitaki sasa ku reduce nipite 60 kg na sitaki ni as in ki gain weight ipite 65 nataka at least ni maintain kwa hiyo scale ya between 60 to 65 but otherwise consistency is the key to any achievement so anyone mwenye ako na question about my weight loss journey labda anataka tu kwa undani aniulize ulize ana feel like maybe ajaridhika ama ana feel ameridhika but ana ako na njia yake na ana taka tu ku get someone amshike mkono through this weight loss journey usi hesitate my email address is storiesakwetu@gmail.com ama uni follow on my uni dm on my instagram handle story underscore zakwetu na i'm willing and ready to hold your hand until you achieve your body weight i have spent a lot of money on tata bundles just to find ways on how to cut weight on youtube indeed i found a lot of videos on youtube but the trainer said they are not professionals And I'm also not a professional trainer.